Many companies need to make their products have unique features in order to differentiate themselves from competition. Whether it is ergonomic changes, streamlined forms, or other aesthetic details, small changes can go a long way in making a compelling product. How can we distinguish our product from other products? In this lesson, we will cover the SubD direct modification capabilities and ultimately apply them to stylize an electric guitar body. The SubD modification tools include subdivide, bridge, split, crease, snap, and smooth. Please make sure to watch the video in lesson one to see how these tools work. Then let's begin the workshop on stylizing the guitar. Bring in the guitar body that has already been converted from facets to sub D. Electric guitars often have a personality, made famous by popular musicians over time. Starting with a very basic yet classic design, what types of changes do we want to make to distinguish our guitar from the rest? Do we want to make sharper edges, more rounded edges, abnormal contours, holes, or other features? Let's start by adding some features using the Pull and Move tools directly. Activate the Move tool, and then select a Sub-D face along the neck side of the guitar. If the Proportional option is active, notice how Discovery helps you visualize the radius of the affected area. Change the radius to 0.5 inches. Then, move outwards 2 inches, resulting in a spike. Let's do the same thing several more times, but decreasing the height of the move each time, resulting in a gradual decrease of spike height. Let's do the same process on the bottom neck side of the guitar as well. Next, create a plane that is displaced 0.5 inches from the front face of the guitar. Now, let's make a selection of faces that we want to snap to the plane. You can do this by selecting faces and going down to the Advanced Selection tab and click Add Selection, creating a group. Click the Snap tool and then go down to the Name Selections Groups and select the group. Then click the plane and click the green check mark. The faces are moved up to the plane. Let's create a few more raised up sections using Snap. Now let's create some sharper edges to give the guitar a more dangerous vibe. The crease tool is useful for sharpening or smoothing out edge regions. Notice you can increase the crease factor to make even sharper edges. Pick a crease factor of at least 5. Let's crease a bunch more edge regions on this model. The guitar is starting to look quite cool. It's a distinctive design. What else can we do to add interesting details? Let's try the bridge tool. The bridge tool is useful for creating holes and for creating blended regions. Let's create a bridge between two of the spikes we made earlier. Select one face and then an opposing face on the other spike and complete. A bridge is created. 
Let's make another one on the bottom spikes. Now, let's create opposing selections on either side of the guitar body. The bridge tool will create a hole in the part between your selections. Let's add a couple more holes throughout the guitar body to give an extra unique look to the design. The auto-generated sub-D body already has plenty of faces, so there's no need to subdivide the model further. If you wanted to create smaller sub-D faces for this part, I suggest you use the split tool, where you can select a particular edge and it will create a new subdivision along that edge loop. Now, I may not win any design awards for this guitar design, but it's fun to experiment with Discovery's modeling capabilities to see what I can come up with. And when you follow along with this exercise, I encourage you to build on this or even create a completely new design concept. If you want to continue practicing your sub-D modeling skills, I suggest you go back to the perfume bottle exercise from the previous lesson, turn off the cage, and add finer details to the model. This concludes the Intro to Sub-D Modeling course in ANSYS Discovery. If you are interested in learning more about modeling or simulation, please go to the ANSYS Innovation Space and look at our free ANSYS Innovation courses, which cover a multitude of simulation topics using ANSYS simulation software.